Hello and welcome to this short video which gives you a quick look at the British Council's Learn English Pathways. When you log in for the first time, the first thing you'll see is My Courses. This lists the courses for the level you're going to study and there are two for each level. You'll also see a Help button in the bottom right hand corner in case you have any technical problems. Let's have a look at this course. This is a list of all the modules in this course. Open each module to see the list of units. Each unit has a mix of activities. Let's open one and have a look. This unit's about clothes shopping. You'll see a list of content on the left hand side, which you can see here and here. All of these are interactive activities and there are several different types of them. In this type, you have to drag the tiles into the right place. There are several other types, but you can always check your results on these activities by clicking on this when you finish. You can also try again and see the results. If you look at the top right hand side, you can see a small trophy icon. This gives details on your scores for all the activities in this unit. Be careful not to hit the X when you want to go back to the activity though. It exits you from the materials. Exiting the materials means you return here with your progress updated. Click on the British Council logo to return to the home screen. On the home screen, you'll notice there are additional headings. Continue and My History. They'll quickly take you back to where you were last studying. Knowing you can continue studying from where you left off last time is a great advantage of using a course like Learn English Pathways. If you've not studied online before, you might want to follow some of these tips. Firstly, try to identify a realistic schedule and stick to it. Can you study every day? or perhaps three days a week. Decide what you can do and stick to your schedule. Some learners find it easier to associate a different location with learning. Is it better for you to access the materials at your desk or on your sofa? Finally, it can be a good idea to organize your learning. Try a vocabulary notebook, so writing down new words or phrases you find on the course, or perhaps an app. The British Council has an app to help you with that, and it's called My Wordbook. There are more apps for you to try here too. If you have time, you might also want to explore other learning materials online, especially these on the Learn English website. So, you should now be ready to get started with your English studies online with Learn English Pathways. Good luck!